Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to go very basic and we will learn what is Buddy, what are the features of this platform, how we can create a pipeline in Buddy CI CD, and we will also see a very quick demo with the Java Maven project. So let's learn this awesome DevOps automation platform and let's get started. Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav. I'm a teacher and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session, we are going to introduce Buddy, which is a DevOps automation platform. And I'm going to go very basic from scratch and we will learn step by step what is Buddy, the features of this platform, how we can create a pipeline with Buddy and a demo project. So Buddy is a platform for DevOps and you can do continuous integration, delivery and deployments of your application using this platform. Let me first go to the website. If you go and search for Buddy or search for Buddy CI on Google, you will get to this website that is buddy.works. So go here and this is the website for Buddy, buddy.works. Now I have used Buddy and I have found it very easy and fast. I will show you a demo and you can see and analyze how useful Buddy can be for your work. You can create a free account using GitHub Bitbucket or you can also use your email to create a free account with Buddy. And if you scroll down, you can see some features and demo. Now, after my first hands-on with Buddy, my initial feedback is one of the most positive things I found here is Setting up of a pipeline with Buddy is very easy and very fast. You will find all your possible actions, setup and configurations already available. All the build tools, deployment, DevOps, monitoring and notifications, everything is there. So this is one of the good things I like. As I do more hands-on, I will tell you more feedback on this. Now, if you go to the guides and support link here, it will take you to the documentation and Buddy has a very good documentation. You can see we have documentation here. You can also ask the community and we also have a chat option. So you can see if you want to do a chat with the team, you can chat with the team here. So here I will go to the documentation. And here we have quick start deployments, pipelines, and you can see the table of contents here. So if I go to the quick start, you can see all different types of application and you will see a huge list here. So whatever application you are working on, you will find it here. You can also see deployments here. And again, all the deployments platforms you will find here. Then you can see pipelines, Docker. If you're working with Docker, you can use this. Collaborations, everything is here. Then integrations as well. So whatever you can think of or whatever you are working with, you will find everything here. So the documentation is really, really good. So let us sign in. So you can just create a free account using your email or Bitbucket or GitHub. I will go to sign in. I have already created an account. So let me sign in to the platform. So I'm using my email and password to sign in. And here now I am on the dashboard. So you can see this is my dashboard. And here you will find we have links for projects. So whatever projects you create will be displayed here. Then we have activity. All the activity you do in your projects will be shown here. Then all your users and your team, you can invite more people to your project. And then we have preferences here. And then you can see your settings and your profile and you can do search here. So let us create a new project. I will click on create new project. Now you can get your project from GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, Buddy Git Hosting or your private Git server. So let me just, just go to GitHub. Now I have created a Java Maven project. So if I show you here, I have created a Java Maven project where I'm running this test hello world that is printing this. This is a test on the console. Now in case you have a existing Java Maven project, you can use that for the demo or just in case you want to start from scratch and create a Java Maven project. Uh, I have created this in a separate video. So if you go to my website, that is automationstepbystep.com, you will find the link to that video here. And I will also provide the link in the description of this video. So if you go to 
the free courses so you can go to automation step by step dot com and when you go to free courses you can scroll down and you will find a section for maven if you click here so here it is this is the section here for maven and it will take you to the youtube playlist and here this is the video that i have recorded separately where i have shown how to create and run a maven project with eclipse and command line and this is exactly what i am using here also in this video i have given references to how you can uh, push your project to github so i have already created this project and pushed to github and in case you want to see the steps you can find it in this video and if i go to my github i will just show you i'm going to my github account just in case uh, you are new to github as well i have a complete playlist for that as well so you can see we have here version control system so you can watch this and this is my github and i have that project stored or pushed in my github repository so here on buddy i'm going to use github and now in my case i have already attached my github repository to buddy ci here just in case your github is not attached to buddy you can just uh, give your credentials for github and you can attach it and then all your projects from github will be displayed here so if i search for that project the java maven project that i created it is here i will click this and here you can see it will connect to the project and it has already detected that this is a java application and now i can create a new pipeline so you can see this is java maven i will click on create new pipeline and you can give any name to your pipeline so I will just say testing hello world I am going to create a very simple and quick pipeline here now this is the name you can give here and then we have a trigger mode how do you want to trigger this pipeline do you want to trigger it manually that is if you want to trigger by pushing a button manually or if you want to trigger on push that means whenever you push any changes to your project here so this is my project on github and if you want that whenever there is any commit and push to this project then the pipeline should get triggered then you can say and select this or if you want to schedule recurrently you can set this and you can also select the configuration here which is simple or advanced and you can say the start date and start time and then interval so it should run after every 5 minutes 15 minutes one day two days whatever you want you can do that so for now let me keep it manual and then we have the branch here the master branch and I will click on add new pipeline and you can see here the pipeline is created and here we have some more configurations to do we have actions here blockchain and templates I will go to action and here you can see it is giving us all the suggestions and everything that you can do as an action here so because it has detected it is a java maven project it is giving me a suggestion for maven here you can also do a lot of other actions so you can see we have setup actions here transfer we have devops if you want to do any of these things you can do that then we have if you want to run on dedicated environment and everything you will find here so whatever you can think of or whatever you are working with you can see here so build tools all the available build tools are here then uh, if you scroll down Amazon Web Services everything is here cloud platforms then docker if you are working with docker you will find all the possible actions you can do with docker here Kubernetes as well here and then Android code quality performance app monitoring and notifications if you want to send an email or SMS everything is here and if you did not find what you want to do although the list is really really great and everything is here but still if you do not find what you want to do you can just send a message to the buddy team and you can click here send the message and they will get it done for you so for now I will go back and also you can see you do not have to always scroll down to your action you can start typing here 
so if you say email you can just start filtering from here and select the action so for now I am going to select Maven here and here again we have all these options environment services cache variables condition action as of now I just want to run this command and here it is already giving me this command you can also do full screen so this is MVN clean install let me say MVN test here I want to run the test I will say MVN test and that's it add this action and the action is added now you can also switch it on or off from here and if you want more actions you can click on this button here so this will be this action will be added after this action if you want to add an action just before this you can click on this button here so you can do a plus here and you can add more actions from here so I will press escape to come out and now you can also see some other things like what are the actions you want to run on failure or what are the actions you want to run when you are back to normal so let me click this add the first on failed actions and let's just say in case there is a failure I want to send an email I will filter out email action and click here and here you can see you can create a subject here you can give a body something has gone wrong please check I will say QA team or let us say DevOps team and you can say plain text or HTML and then here you can give the email recipients ID and you can give multiple IDs here and then add this action you can also test the action so you can see here I will again go to the action and we have a button here to test the action if I say test action so you can see the action has been tested successfully so that means this is working fine so let me come out I will press the escape button and let me go back here so you can see now we have this primary action that executes this maven test command and then we have this send email notification in case there is a failure now here you can see we have a run pipeline button I will click here and this will trigger the pipeline on every trigger we have to give some command so I'm just saying that first test run and say run now and this is now in progress you can see this is in progress now and it has actually failed and also we have said that in case of a failure we should get an email so let me just check if I go to my email here let me check here and see I have got an email which says something has gone wrong wrong please check DevOps team so this is working fine now let me just see what has failed so here if you scroll down you can see all the logs so prepare environment was fine you can also see the logs here then execute maven test has failed and you can see all the logs here and I will do full screen so you can see it failed and it did not find a project so when we run MVN test if I go to my github repository so if I go to this project hello world buddy CI alright so you see I do not have all the files directly in the main project I have this hello world folder and inside this I have all my folders for the project so I have to actually navigate to this folder so I will go back and here I'm going to edit this section so you can see we have a direct button here edit the action and here before doing ambient test I will say CD to hello world folder and save this action and now I'm just going to retry execution so I will click on here retry execution and let us see this is in progress you can also cancel the execution from here if you want to so this is still in progress looks like this should work and yes it is passed and if you go down now you can see it has passed and if I see the MVN test command I will do full screen you can see it is running the test and if I scroll down I should see the test running 
so let me scroll down and yes you can see the test has done successfully and this statement this is a test is coming from that project so this is working fine you can see this is running this statement this is a test which is being executed here and now you can also see here go to pipeline details I will go here and here on this section you can see some more actions and some more features if you want to go to the batch you can create a batch like this this is a batch preview you can copy this link and just in case you want to embed it anywhere if I run this link you will see the image so you can see this is the image or the batch uh, then we have a slack handle here so just in case you want to use slack and you want to send notifications about your deployments you can use slack and here is the link for that then there is webhook URL just in case you want to trigger it from some remote systems you can use this webhook URL uh, then we have more information if you want to learn more about pipelines you can do here then we have a code section here so if you go to code you will see all the details here the activity section which will show you all the activity so you can see all this here then project options all these things you can do here webhook public key delete project you can delete it from here and you can also see a dashboard here from where you can go to any of the project or create new project if you go to the dashboard of buddy ci you can see all your projects here so in simple words buddy ci is a platform for devops automation and you have seen we have all the features that you can think of here and all the applications all the integrations and all the possible platforms it is a web-based continuous integration delivery and deployment platform and you can use it to build test and deploy applications with code from github bitbucket and gitlab now we have already seen how to use it we have seen the features we have also seen a demo and i believe it can be very useful for your deployments and devops i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching